Hello, this video will show you how to replace a headlight motor gear on a Pontiac Trans Am. And this is the noise of a bad headlight motor gear. And you want to start out by rotating the headlight motor gear to the headlights completely open. And you want to use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the nut holding the arm to the motor. And you want to use a little bit of WD-40 and pry it off with a screwdriver if it does not come off by hand. I find it a lot easier to get the headlight motor off if you remove the headlight assembly. And to do so, all you have to do is remove these two bolts and nuts. And you will need a T27 Torx pay and a 10mm wrench. And you want to be careful not to lose the plastic bushings. And once you slide out the assembly, this is what you're left with. And we can now remove the actual headlight motor. And there are three bolts and nuts that you will need to remove. And I'll be using a 10 millimeter socket and two 10 millimeter wrenches. A ratcheting wrench does make it a lot easier. And you can now remove the headlight motor. But before you can remove the headlight motor, you want to disconnect the harness. And you want to loosen these two bolts on the upper bracket so you can pull out the connection. And now you want to pop off this cover. But you do want to be careful not to pry on it too hard. And once you got the majority of it lifted, you can just slide the screwdriver across. And now on to removing the gear. And this is what the damage to the gear looks like. I'm not sure if it shows up as well on camera, but there's missing and damaged teeth on the gear.
And this is the repair kit I'll be using for this headlight motor. It does include everything you need to repair this motor. And this is a more detailed look of everything that's included. And yeah, the first thing you want to do is compare to make sure that the gears match. And we can now begin assembling the headlight motor. And you want to make sure that you add a good amount of grease. And you want to add grease to the inside of the housing as well. And we can now begin assembling the motor. And this is what it should look like before adding the cover. And you want to fold both ends of the urethane glue and cut the top. And now you want to squeeze the pouch and mix them together with the mixing stick. And once it's mixed properly, you can add it to the edges of the cover. And we can now install the cover to the headlight motor assembly. After putting the cover on, I gave it 30 minutes in the sun for the glue to dry. And now for the install, here's a helpful tip to get the motor back in. You want to install it with the last bolt on, and you want to angle the motor when installing it. And once it's in position, you can push it on the bolt from behind the bracket. And after the motor is in position, reinstall the rest of the components. And after completing the install, we can now test out the motors. And finally, that horrible noise is gone. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.